The jury is finally in on stevia. The reason it's been such a long time coming is that research out of Japan in the 90s found that steviacides, the active ingredient in stevia, appeared totally harmless. But in the guts of rats, intestinal bacteria transformed steviacides into something called steviol, which is toxic, uh, causing a big spike in mutagenic DNA damage. So the question was, do we have those same rat bacteria in our guts? And it turns out we do. So we know that when we eat stevia, mutagenic compounds are produced in our colons and absorbed into our bloodstream. The only remaining question was, how much? The World Health Organization just released their latest evaluation of food additives, and they consider up to 4 mg per kilogram of body weight safe. So that's uh, 1.8 mg per pound. So if you multiply your weight in pounds times 1.8, that's how many milligrams of stevia compounds you should stay under. The problem is the American sweet tooth. We're supposed to stay under 4, but if we sweetened everything with stevia, we could exceed that safety limit, at least in the United States. But as long as you only drink like two stevia-sweetened beverages a day, it can be considered harmless.